So the cross country race is next, and it's the Glen Farkless Handicap Chase, or the Glen Farcical, as Stu always used to call it. He normally commentates on these types of races, but I shall be doing it this year. And at the top dino wager for David Robertson, Captain Mannering from Artillery, won this race two seasons ago and was third last season. Paul Satilla, Alex Cherry, Law Society, Graham Clutterbuck, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, Matt Cooper, Glen Fire, Fred Lott, Alex Cherry, Ideal Art, David Hoody, Settler, Craig Beckwith, and Sarah Manamu for Matt Cooper, a field of just nine. For this one, they're away and racing. Very short run to the first. And they're all safely over the first. And they've got 33 fences to take in this. So 32 more to get over. And this, as they get to the second, is probably one of the races that makes you think we could do with a few extra horses in the National, because you'd like to see like 15, 16 in this, wouldn't you? Rather than nine, there's quite a lot of long distance races at this point. They've all got small fields. And of course, if we chop them out a new schedule, then we get a few extra trainers coming in next year or the year after. And there'll be too many again, so it's difficult to know what to do as they get over the third. I suggest maybe there's an argument for letting people put an extra three in Ottoman. To try and bump some of the fields up, but anyway, we get over the fourth. That's not for me to decide. And it's Law Society in front. If they get over the fifth, from Stone Cold Steve Austin second, Captain Mannering is third. Captain Mannering won this two seasons ago when making all. Last year didn't get the chance to lead and only came third. And in the actual big one at Cheltenham, didn't get the chance to even fill. And he's done it again there. Captain Mannering has gone. So the core specialist. Not proving much of a course business there. He's in my stable, mainly for these cross-country races. And he, if he doesn't fall over, he wins them. But he's falling over quite a lot lately. So that's probably his last chance of a win now till Cheltenham. And he'll probably fall then as well. Anyway, they get over the ninth. And it's Law Society is clearing the lead by about six lengths. To Stone Gold Steve Austin second. Get back to Port Tiller. This Law Society's gone well clear. And I'm expecting that, uh, well, I'm guessing. The name like Law Society, Graham Clutterbuck thought this was going to be a flat horse. Who knows? Anyway, they get over that Grand National type fence already the 10th of the 33, and they're so well strung out that the cameraman can't keep them all in shot as they get over the next. And it's Law Society clear by a good five lengths to Stone Cold Steve Austin and he's got a similar distance between him and a third place Pulsar Tiller Glenn Fry Fred Lott is next and then Sarah Manamu as they come to this funny back thing and uh, over that they go we'll see if we have that Sarah Manamu Sarah Manamu sure are they we had a really good race in the Velka part of Beaker last week interesting to see what that one does today it's still down the bottom end of the weights To be going well for a good way last week towards the latter end of the race and this this week he's much closer to the pace than she was last time but law society is seven or eight lengths clear now skips over that next one from stone cold steve austin ideal arts move through into third diner wager and sarah manner move then paul satilla and glenn five fredlock alex cherry's had a Horrible start to the season. Normally picks up some winners and does okay. I think he's had a single winner yet. Maybe scratching his head and wondering what's going on. I think both of these have been around for a season or two, so they should be capable of picking up a win. And that's Alex Cherry, is the jumps handicap. You can't accuse him of favouring his own horses, can he? Because he hasn't had a winner yet. There's Law Society in the lead. Dino Wager second, Ideal Art third, and Stone Cold Steve Austin fourth. As they get to the next, and that's that double bank hedge type thing. Can you imagine this race is, must be quite weird for the horses, not used to the types of obstacles they're taking. Normally, oh. see fences coming up that close together, dear. This Law Society is still well clear. 
in Ideolar in second. And Stone Cold Steve Austin and Dino Wager. Gap of a couple of lengths into Sarah Manamu, Porter Till England, Fife Redlock, and finally Settler. Just lost a one so far. Captain Mannering, who's fallen. Don't tell him Pike, but it's Law Society in the lead. They get over the 22nd. Anybody non British watching this now will, will not have a clue what that meant, but well, sorry about that. But I think we're all British based in this one. And it's Law Society in the lead. From my dear art, second. Dino Wager is third. And Stone Cold Steve Austin is fourth. A gap of a couple of lengths then back to Sarah Manamu, Paul Tatilla, Glen Fife, Redlock, and finally Settler. Over this water jump, all safely over it. This Law Society's lead only about four lengths now. Ideal Art second. Dino Wager and Stone Cold Steve Austin. They take the 24th. Just lose sight of them temporarily as they jump that, but they all got over it okay. Law Society's lead is just a couple of lengths as he takes a bit of a pull on. Ideal Art doesn't want to hit the front too soon and he got them close to that one. Makes you sometimes think the jockeys are better off leaving the horses to do what they want to do rather than trying to hold them back and stuff. He's obviously put him off his stride and made that mistake. But Law Society gets over this next one in front. Good jump there though by Ideal Art this time has gone back up to challenge Stone Cold Steve Austin for a second. And Glenn Fire Fredlock getting a bit closer and Dino Wager Sarah Manamu over the 27th. With Paul Satilla now the one who's struggling at the back. Law Society has been in the lead all the way. Leads by a couple of lengths to Stone Cold Steve Austin and Ideal Art. And Sarah Manamu and Glenn Fire Fredlock Settler is the one who's getting closer. The bottom weights and over that one, it was a mistake by Sarah Manamu seeing that one just shuffle back a bit. But they've they only got less than one, they've got less than five furlongs to go. They've only got about five to jump. That's the 29th, and so they've got four more to take now. And that's the fourth last. And now Settler is really coming through the challenge. And it's Law Society and Settler over the third last. Suddenly we've gone to only needing two to jump. And it's Law Society kicked on for home. Settler's chasing in second. Ideal Art is third. Then Sarah Manamu and Stone Cold Steve Austin. Glenn Five Fredlock trying to run on. Two to take. As they come down towards the second last fence. Then now in this Glenn Farkless cross country chase. It's Law Society. Been in the lead all the way. But Settler is looming on the outside. Side. Settlers coming through the challenge. Law Society responds. Still a neck in front. Between these two surely as they come down to the second last fence then now. And Settler hits the front. Lands in the lead. Settlers taking it up from Law Society who's trying to battle back on the inside. They race towards the final fence. Over it they go. Better jump this time by Law Society who's got back into the lead. But now Settler starts to impose on the outside. There's still a final to go. Settler on the outside. Law Society on the inside. Law Society's coming back. Settler's got a lower weight. He's hanging on as they race up towards the line. Settler Law Society won last lunge as they come towards the line. It's got to be mighty close and Law Society's got up to take it from Settler second. Ideal Art third, Dino Wager then Sarah Manamu and Glenn Fly Fred Lott. And it looked like Settler had come to take the race but Law Society kept battling back and battling back despite having the bigger weight and has taken it so Law Society for Grand Clutterbuck, the winner. Settler for Craig Beck with second. Ideal Art for David Hooley was third. Dino Wager for David Robertson was fourth. And Sarah Manamu for Matt Cooper was fifth.